What's up, everybody? This is your boy, New Prince. And today we're getting into some more Animal Crossing. Today I'm going to show you five ways to get exclusive items on your island. I'm talking about things like um, that you rarely would see on your island. So if you ever saw a mask or some furniture or something on somebody else's island, you wonder how to get that. I'm going to show you a, a few tips and tricks on how to get that stuff. Wash my hands. So I'm going to go ahead and show you my inventory. So my inventory looks like this. Now when you're looking at this stuff, this is stuff I bought, I come across, you see? So you're looking at this stuff. This might Some of this stuff might not be new to some of you, but to some people it look like, oh, where did you get that? Oh, how did you get that? Because I'm assuming everybody's game is a little different. The things spawn differently depending on the hours you put in the game and what you have already. So you, you're looking at, you know, you look at somebody's catalog might be totally different than other people's catalog. But how did you get that? Uh, this mask, this helmet, these things that so they haven't spawned on their island. And I might look at somebody else's and might be like, wow, I had to get that, you know. I saw somebody with like a basketball court and they had two rims. I'm like, where'd they get the basketball rim from? My, I, That's never spawned or even popped up on my island at all. You see? I got hats, I got masks, different things, bubble gum, um, just a variety of different things. And I think each each player, um, different things spawn to your island or come up in inventory and things differently, depending on, like I said, how many hours you put in the game, how much you play it, what you've unlocked, what you haven't unlocked, how far you're along with Tom Nook and certain things. So first thing that we're going to look at is interacting with your neighbors. Now, I said this on the video before. Talk to your neighbors constantly every day. Go over their houses, see how they're doing. Sometimes they even run up on you and give you things, you see? So... You walk into one of your neighbor's houses, see how they're doing. They might give you a specific item that you've never seen before. And you're like, wow, you know, give you something you already have. They might craft. But if you take that item they give you and then you give it to another islander, you say they might give you something that you've never had or never seen. So it's about interacting with your neighbors. Like I said, you can exchange gifts. Like a lot of times I told in the other video, you drop off, you know, you give them fruit, you give them different things. Somebody, some islander gives you something that you already have. You give it to another island. They might give you something that you've never had. So always exchange gifts with them. When you have something, give them to you. Usually they'll give you something back or they give you money back. Most of the time they'll exchange the gift with you. They'll give you something in return. Okay. So, and then talking to them randomly, like they'll run up on you sometimes and and uh, just to, just to give you stuff. Of course, they give you the emotions and different things like that. But they'll just run up to you sometimes just give you, hey, I got this for your shirt or something. But they can't do that if you're in the house all day or you're not logging into the game or you're not interacting with them at all. Number two, we're going to get into it is going to be over here at the little uh, ATM in Tom Nook's office. So now at the ATM in here. What's happening is you go in here every day. They have at least one thing that's kind of exclusive for that day or exclusive for that week. So what you're going to do, you're going to scroll down. And right before you get to the uh, usual things that's on here, they're going to give you stuff like, OK, like every day the fences change. Like it's a rope fence day, straw fence. Yesterday it was brick and a, a wood plank fence, those type of things. And they spawn like every you know day is something different in there. Also up in here. They had like, um, say they got the normal things like these things, of course, which is fine. But you get in like this little area right here, right before you get to everything, you get the little different fences every day. So if you were wondering how, like, where they get that fencing from, where they get that from, you know, they usually pop up in here exclusively for that day. And sometimes they don't pop again until the next week or a few days, days later. But you always should be coming to check here to see what new things they have right in this little area right here. So we're going to leave right up out of there. And now we're going to go back in and we're going to go to the Nook Shopping. Now the Nook Shopping has various um, exclusive items for that day. Okay. And sometimes these things don't pop back up for like weeks, a month later. Now I started on this game and... There was a six ball tee. So now they got the nine ball tee. It was a six ball tee and I skipped over to that day thinking I could just come back to it the next day and get it. I hadn't seen that six ball tee in 
I don't know. It took a month before it popped back up and I finally got it. So I don't know if your game is a little different. You might have saw the six ball tee more than uh, once or twice. I've seen this nine ball tee a bunch of times, but I hadn't seen the six or the two or the three. But you want to come in here and you want to check this out every day. Like at the top, the garden gnomes there today. Outdoor air condition. They weren't there before. This is going to switch tomorrow. You see, I don't know when is next time the air condition is going to come back or the gnome. I remember my son, he got the gnome when he first started, when the first game first came out. I hadn't seen the gnome anymore since. So now it pops up like a month later. So I don't know if it's on a revolving 30 day thing. But you come in here, and of course, the KK uh, slider songs, if you guys like those type of things, they come in here exclusively. And you probably end up won't see this love song for another 30 days, three weeks, something like that. Because there are items that I've been waiting to come back. They just haven't come back. So you always want to come in here and check these for exclusive things that you might be missing out on. Okay, so number three is going to be um, Walk the Beach. Okay, guys. So this is the thing with the beach. Those washed up bottles that wash up on the beach they have exclusive items in or do it do it yourself recipes in them that you can make these things you say make certain things that you don't have or you wish that you had on your island that you might find some value in so always walk the, the beach try to grab those bottles out there those uh washed up uh notes in a bottle type of thing next what you can do is shake trees now the thing about shaking trees of course the wasps so you want to keep a net in hand just in case they pop out on you. You're able to try to have uh, some kind of line of defense against them. But not just the, what I want to say, what I've discovered is not just the normal trees in that, that are on you interact with every day. It's going to be these trees up here in the cliffs and things that you don't usually touch that often. You see, they're going to be the ones that drop out that little leaf, which has furniture and different things in it. You see, like the, the trees up here that you barely, you know, look at in the high altitudes and different things. The places that you rarely go to, like, you know, uh, shake or clean or touch or anything. So you want to get used to going to shaking trees in uh, the less trafficked spots on your island. So like I said, up in the mountains or places that you don't usually go and pay a lot of attention to or interact with on your island. You want to go up there, shake the trees, and that's the place where the leaves are going to spawn uh, with all the unique exclusive items up in that range or whatever the next one we're going to go to is going to be the shops that so we're talking about the able sister shop the nooks cranny and they usually have one thing in the shop a day that's kind of exclusive that won't be back for a while like there was a TV in here yesterday and I wanted to get the big screen TV and I totally forgot to log back in and get the dang TV. Now I missed out on the TV and I don't know when the next time the TV is going to pop up. Is it going to pop out a balloon? Is one of my uh, neighbors going to give it to me? Do I have to go to another island and pull it out of a tree or something? So you got to jump on these things so they're exclusive and they'll tell you like it's an exclusive item. But you want to come here and check at least one of these items is going to be exclusive that day. OK, so I've seen this panda here, but I've never seen it green. You say I saw a black one. So maybe that's the typewriter. I don't know. I've seen it a couple times. I don't know how it is on your island. Have you seen this typewriter a few times? Have you seen the green bear a couple times? Like I said, everybody's island is different. You need, but you just need to check your nook's cranny and see what they're offering. Like I said, it depends on how far you're along in the game, what you've done for time, nook, and everything like that. So we're going to go into the Able Sister Shop. Now, the trick with the Able Sister Shop is... An exclusive item, I'm going to give you guys a nugget in the Able Sister Shop. If you go to the Able Sister Shop seven days straight, and you go over here and you talk to the sister who try to act antisocial, who want to be all sedity, you come over here and talk to her seven days straight, she starts doing things like this. Oh, new prince, I, hope you, I was hoping you'd come by today. I made a new patterned fabric for you to try out on our custom furniture. Here you go. So I started working on these during the breaks from shops, during my break from shop though. But I got all excited and couldn't stop. I can't read. I'm having technical difficulties here, guys. Sorry about that. So what it is, you come in every day. She's going to give you the sedity thing. The look, oh, you know, I ain't got no, you know, number. I ain't got no phone. It's a, I got a man type of thing or whatever. So you want to sit there. You want to talk to her for every day. Keep talking. Keep talking. Then she breaks down. And she gives you a fabric kit. 
where you could customize furniture and different things. So now you can get exclusive furniture and different things from her exclusively. You say, so now every time, every day you come in and you talk to her, she's giving you a new fabric. So then you could get plain Jane furniture and you could customize it to how you want it. And you can have those designs, different things that nobody else probably had. So I'm going to go up in here and show you guys this real quick and check it out. So, okay, so you'll have your normal things that's in here all the time. Then it always has some random thing that just like doesn't fit in with anything at all. Like one time I walked in, it was a, a astronaut helmet. I'm like, what is that about? I had a Jason mask. It was just randomly that. What is the Jason mask? You know what I'm saying? Just random stuff. So I don't know if these instant muscle suits um, are that, but it's usually down in this area. Like, okay, so like here, Kling Glingery. I don't know what that is, but I'm assuming that not a lot of places have. I've never seen it before. Or this facial mask, you see? So you put it on, you see? So it's just usually some random item down here. It was, like I said, it was an astronaut helmet. I had the Jason mask, um, different uh, hats and different things. It's always like in this little corner right here, nuzzled and snuck in between everything. So they have that type of stuff in the Able Sister shop. You have to come to the shop every day and check it out. You say the same thing with Nook's Cranny. You got to go in there and check that out. Same thing with the beach. You got to grab that bottle off. The bonus tip is you can have, if you got multiple friends that play the game, see, you guys can come to each other's island. So you all meet up at one island and you bring about 10 things with you. Okay. That you think are items nobody else has, exclusive items, fun items, new items that maybe somebody else will want. So everybody bring about 10 items with them. Okay. So what that does is when you go back to this ATM, when they come to your island, if you pick up anything and put it down, it will throw that into your inventory. Not as something you have, but it's, it's, it lets, it leaves it open for the ability for you to get it on your island. You see? So it opens it up. So you, like you go right here to the Nook shopping. Okay. Special goods, of course. Your catalog is this stuff. This is stuff. Th this isn't necessarily stuff I bought. This is just stuff that's been on my island. You see, it's stuff I picked up, put down, looked at in Nook's Cran Shop, a different thing. It gives me the ability to have it spawn on my island various times, you know, at any, gi any given moment. So um, if you have your friends come to your island, you all have these unique items. If you pick it up, it'll throw it right here in your inventory. You see, now not necessarily you won't have it, you see what I'm saying? But the possibility for it to pop up in Nook's Cranny is now available. The possibility for it to pop up in the Able Shop is now available. The possibility for it to fall out a balloon is now available. For it to pop up in a, a, a note in a, a bottle is available. You see? So it's called a yard sale. So what you want to do is get a few friends, friends together. So I'm on a four or five. If you got the more the merrier. I'll meet up at one island. Bring those, bring those things in your inventory. You see? So what I would do, I would do this. I would, I would come to the island and I would stack all those things up here, a bunch of nice items up here, come over to the island. And then when I come over to the island, we'd all meet up someplace on the island. All five of us, six of us, three of us, four of us. Drop our item. Yeah, they won't let you put that. Oh, you can't uh, litter in the plaza. I got you. They drop item. So you drop it. Bam. Okay. And then your friend comes over picks it up and they just drop it right back down you see but the fact that they picked that up and it was in their inventory there will help it spawn on their island in some various form you know some different form whether it's on a balloon on in a bottle falling out a tree uh, a gift from another neighbor on your island you see and so how you can prove this is you pick it up, you drop it, then you go back to your island. After you picked up everybody's item, they picked up yours, you go back. And then you're going to go back into the shop, to the ABD. And you're going to look at your inventory. And you're going to see all the things that you picked up on that island. Everything you touched on that island. And once you see everything you touched on that, that gives you the ability to have it on your island. So it's going to come, give it some time. Maybe a day, two days, it might pop out a balloon today, tomorrow, whenever. But these things will make themselves available on your island because you did this. Now, like I said, you can't buy it or grab it right here, but it shows that it's spawnable. And that's what I want to call it. So now your island has the ability to get this item. 
you see or or if it was coming in a rotation at a certain time because i believe everybody's island is different and certain items uh spawn in a certain rotation depending on your gameplay um game time um advancement in the game your level and everything like that it'll speed that process up you see so now this is available right now you see this certain thing so this is where we're going to wrap things up this has been your boy new prince love and light to you all hope you guys are staying safe out there and i'm gonna see you next time on the new